Pickup trucks have always been a staple in the world of automobiles. They're seen as the ultimate workhorses, thriving in challenging conditions and getting the job done. Yet many beloved pickup models have been discontinued, leaving fans longing for their return. From the rugged reliability of the Dodge Power Wagon to the innovative design of the Chevrolet El Camino, these iconic vehicles have set the standard for performance, style, and versatility. Each of these trucks has a unique story filled with fascinating details and historical significance. They continue to inspire car lovers and collectors around the globe. Whether you're a longtime fan of these classic machines or new to the world of vintage pickups, you're in for a treat. So buckle up as we explore the features, history, and lasting impact of these legendary trucks. So let's jump right in and explore these iconic trucks. Introduced in 1955, the Chevrolet Cameo was a revolutionary design by General Motors designer Chuck Gordon. This truck was a part of Chevrolet's Task Force series, and it stood out due to its unique styling and innovative features. The Cameo was the first truck to feature a smooth-sided, car-like bed, which was a departure from the traditional step-side design of the time. This design element, combined with its two-tone paint job and chrome trim, gave the Cameo a sleek, upscale appearance. Despite its stylish look and innovative design, the Cameo series was short-lived, with production ending in 1958. During its production run, the Cameo was relatively expensive, costing $435 more than the base price for Chevy pickup, which was about $1,400 at the time. This high price tag limited its market appeal, and Chevrolet sold only about 10,000 units over its four-year production span. The 1958 model, with its quad headlamps and updated styling, was particularly rare, with less than 500 units sold. Today, the Chevrolet Cameo is highly sought after by collectors and classic truck enthusiasts. Its rarity and unique design make it a valuable addition to any vintage vehicle collection. The Cameo is remembered not just for its aesthetic appeal, but also for its role and paving the way for modern pickup trucks. The idea of a pickup truck that combined utility with passenger car comfort and style was groundbreaking at the time and has since become a standard in the industry. The possibility of Chevrolet bringing back the Cameo with a modern twist is an exciting prospect for many classic truck lovers. And while it remains a long shot, the dream of seeing a new Chevrolet Cameo on the market continues to captivate the imagination of car enthusiasts everywhere. The Chevrolet CK Series is legendary in the world of pickup trucks. Introduced in 1960, it quickly became a favorite for its ruggedness, reliability, and versatility. Over nearly four decades, the CK Series evolved with numerous design and tech advancements, cementing its status as a dependable workhorse. Known for its powerful engines, including inline-six and V8 options, these trucks handled heavy loads in tough conditions, making them popular with farmers and construction workers. The CK Series also offered various body styles from regular to crew cab, catering to different needs. A standout feature was its early adoption of an independent front suspension in the 1960s, greatly improving ride comfort and handling. This innovation helped the CK series appeal to a wider audience, including those using their trucks for daily driving. However, the CK series was eventually replaced by the Silverado in the late 1990s, but its legacy lives on. Many enthusiasts still cherish and restore these classic trucks. The idea of Chevrolet reviving the CK series excites fans. A modern take could blend contemporary tech and safety features with the rugged charm and versatility that made the original so beloved. The Dodge Power Wagon is an icon known for its immense power and rugged design. Introduced in 1945, it was the first mass-produced 4x4 pickup derived from Dodge's military trucks used in World War II. The civilian version kept its rugged, utilitarian features, becoming an instant hint with buyers needing a reliable vehicle for heavy-duty work. The Power Wagon's powerful flathead inline six engine delivered exceptional torque and reliability, making it a favorite among farmers and construction workers. Its solid axles, robust frame, and four-wheel drive capabilities ensured it could handle the toughest trains and heaviest loads. Versatility was a key feature, with various configurations like pickup, chassis cab, and flatbed models. Over the years, Dodge improved the power wagon with updates like a 12-volt electrical system in 1955 and a larger six-cylinder engine in 1961, maintaining its reputation for durability and performance. Although discontinued in 1980, 
The Power Wagon's legacy continued. In 2005, Dodge revived the name as a special off-road package for the Ram 2500, blending the original's rugged spirit with modern technology and comfort. The idea of bringing back the Dodge Power Wagon as a standalone model is exciting. A modern Power Wagon combining the iconic design and toughness of the original with the latest automotive advancements would appeal to both nostalgic enthusiasts and new buyers. Such a vehicle could reinforce Dodge's reputation for powerful, reliable trucks, continuing the Power Wagon's storied legacy. The Ford Courier made a splash in the 1970s and early 1980s as a compact pickup truck. Introduced in 1972, it was Ford's answer to the rising demand for smaller, fuel-efficient trucks. This model was a rebagged Mazda B series, born from a collaboration between Ford and Mazda. With a 1.8 liter or 2.0 liter inline four engine, the Courier offered enough power for light duty tasks while delivering better fuel efficiency than larger trucks. Its compact size and economical performance made it a great option for urban drivers and small business owners who needed a practical, versatile vehicle. The design was straightforward and functional, with a simple interior and durable exterior. Despite its practicality, the Courier didn't gain the acclaim of Ford's other trucks like the F-Series. It faced stiff competition from compact pickups like Toyota and Nissan, which offered similar benefits. Consequently, the Courier was discontinued in the early 1980s. Today, the idea of reviving the Ford Courier is intriguing. With compact and mid-sized trucks gaining popularity, there's a growing market for vehicles that offer pickup utility without the bulk and fuel consumption of larger models. A modern Ford Courier could fill this niche, providing a practical, efficient, and affordable option for everyday use. The Cadillac Mirage is a standout in Cadillac's history for its uniqueness. Introduced in 1976, the Mirage was a luxury coupe utility vehicle. Essentially, a Cadillac Eldorado converted into a pickup. Only about 200 units were produced, making it a rare and highly sought after collector's item today. Traditional Coachworks, a company specialized in customizing luxury cars, transformed the Eldorado into the Mirage. This vehicle could combine Cadillac signature luxury and comfort with the practicality of a pickup. It featured plush interiors, advanced amenities for the time, and unmistakable style of a Cadillac, along with a shortened cargo bed. Despite its unique appeal, the Mirage didn't achieve commercial success due to its high price and niche market appeal. It was discontinued after just one year. However, it has since gained a cult following among classic car enthusiasts and collectors who appreciate its rarity and distinct design. Reviving the Cadillac Mirage today is an exciting idea. In a market where luxury and utility often intersect, a modern Mirage would find a niche audience. A new Mirage could integrate Cadillac's latest technology and design elements while retaining the original's essence, offering luxury, comfort, and utility in one stylish package. Introduced in 1972 and produced until 1979, the Datsun 620 was a compact, efficient, and durable truck that appealed to many buyers. It was particularly favored by those who needed a reliable work vehicle but did not require the bulk of a full-size truck. The 620's robust construction and practical design made it a popular choice for small business owners and enthusiasts. The pickup truck was built to withstand rigorous use in harsh conditions, earning a reputation for durability that endears it to collect and classic truck enthusiasts even today. Its simple yet effective design, coupled with a robust chassis and reliable drivetrain, ensured that the 620 could handle a variety of tasks with ease. The truck was offered with a 1.6 liter or 2.0 liter engine, which provided adequate power while maintaining excellent fuel efficiency, a crucial factor during the oil crisis of the 1970s. The Datsun 620 was also notable for its innovative design elements. It was one of the first compact trucks to offer an extended cab option known as the King Cab, introduced in 1977. This provided additional interior space, making the 620 more versatile and comfortable for longer trips or for those who needed extra storage space within the cabin. The truck's aesthetics with its clean lines and functional styling also contributed to its popularity. While the chances of seeing a modern version of the Datsun 620 are slim, its legacy lives on. The truck is highly sought after by collectors and well-preserved examples can command high prices at auctions. For those who own or restore these classic pickups, the Datsun 620 is more than just a truck. It's a symbol of enduring quality and timeless appeal.
The Chevrolet Avalanche is a pickup truck that left a lasting impression on the automotive market despite its mixed reviews during its production years from 2001 to 2013. The Avalanche was designed as a versatile vehicle that combined the comfort and convenience of an SUV with the practicality of a pickup truck. This unique combination made it a standout model appealing to a diverse range of drivers who needed a vehicle capable of handling both everyday commuting and demanding hauling tasks. One of the most distinctive features of the Chevrolet Avalanche is its mid-gate system, which allows the rear passenger seat and rear wall of the cabin to fold down, extending the cargo bed into the cabin area. This innovative design provided unparalleled flexibility, enabling the Avalanche to transport larger items that wouldn't fit in a standard pickup bed. The truck also featured a removable rear window and lockable storage compartments integrated into bed sides, adding to its practicality. Despite its innovative design, the Avalanche faced challenges, particularly in terms of build quality. Some models experienced issues that led to customer dissatisfaction, contributing to its eventual discontinuation. However, the Avalanche also had a loyal fan base who appreciated its unique features and versatility. For those drivers, the discontinuation of the Avalanche was a disappointment as there were few vehicles on the market that could match its blend of SUV comfort and pickup utility. The idea of reviving the Chevrolet Avalanche is an appealing one, especially in a market that continues to value versatility and multifunctional vehicles. By incorporating contemporary design elements and features, a new Avalanche could attract both nostalgic buyers and a new generation of drivers looking for a vehicle that offers both comfort and practicality. The Dodge Little Red Express is a true standout in American pickup history. Known for its eye-catching style and impressive performance, launched in 1978, this high-performance truck came with a bold look and a powerful engine. Its bright red paint, wood trim, and prominent exhaust stacks made it a head-turner. Under the hood, the Little Red Express featured a 360 cubic inch V8, one of the most powerful engines in a pickup at the time. With a specially tuned exhaust system, it could go zero to 60 in just 7.5 seconds, a remarkable feat for a truck in the late 1970s. This combination of power and style made it an instant classic. The truck's design was also part of its appeal. The bright red paint, wood paneling, and chrome exhaust stacks running vertically behind the cab gave it a bold and unique look. Inside, it offered a comfortable interior with bucket seats and a sporty steering wheel. Despite its popularity, the Little Red Express was only produced for two years, with just over 7,300 units made. This limited production has made it a highly sought after collector's item today. Bringing back the Little Red Express would be exciting for many enthusiasts. The GMC Cyclone made a big splash in 1991 as a high performance pickup truck. Based on the GMC Sonoma, it was far from typical with a sleek design and powerful engine. It quickly gained a reputation as one of the fastest production trucks of its time. Under the hood, the Cyclone had a turbocharged 4.3 liter V6 engine producing 280 horsepower and 300 pound-foot of torque. Paired with an all-wheel drive system, and four-wheel speed automatic transmission, it could go from zero to 60 in just 4.3 seconds, outpacing many sports cars of the era, including the Ferrari 348 TS. This performance earned it a spot in Car and Driver's top 10 cars of 1991. The Cyclone's exterior design also turned heads. It featured a lowered stance, aggressive body kit, and unique black paint, giving it a sporty and menacing look. Inside, it offered a driver-focused cockpit with bucket seats, a center console, and performance-oriented gauges. Despite its impressive performance, the Cyclone had a short production run with only 2,995 units built in 1991. GMC shifted focus to the similarly powerful GMC Typhoon SUV, making the Cyclone a rare and sought-after collector's item. So bringing back the GMC Cyclone is an exciting idea which could appeal to both nostalgic buyers and a new generation of performance truck enthusiasts. The Chevrolet El Camino is a unique vehicle that combines a car's comfort with a pickup truck's utility. Introduced in 1959, 
The El Camino was Chevy's answer to the Ford Ranchero, offering a stylish and practical alternative. The El Camino's design set it apart. Based on a car platform, it provided a smoother ride and better handling than typical trucks. Its sleek lines, chrome accents, and integrated bed design made it both functional and stylish. Under the hood, the El Camino offered a range of powerful engines, from inline-six engines to V8 powerhouses. The 1970 SS454 model with its 7.4-liter V8 engine was particularly iconic, delivering impressive power and acceleration, making it a favorite among collectors and muscle car enthusiasts. Although the El Campino was discontinued in 1987 due to declining sales, it has maintained a strong following. Many fans restore and preserve classic models, appreciating their unique blend of style and utility. Reviving the Chevrolet El Camino could be a great idea. A modern El Camino could incorporate contemporary design elements and technology while retaining the iconic features that made the original so popular. Blending car-like comfort and handling with the practicality of a pickup, a new El Camino could attract both nostalgic buyers and a new generation of drivers looking for a versatile, and distinctive vehicle. The Ford F1 is a legendary pickup truck that played a pivotal role in establishing Ford's reputation for building reliable and durable trucks. It introduced in 1948, the F1 was the first truck in Ford's F-Series, which has since become the best-selling truck line in the United States. The F1 was a groundbreaking vehicle that set new standards for comfort, performance, and utility in the pickup truck market. Unlike previous models, the F1 was built with a dedicated truck chassis rather than adopting a car frame. This allowed for stronger and more durable construction that was capable of handling heavier loads and tougher conditions. The F1 also introduced more comfortable and spacious cab with improved seating, better visibility, and enhanced ergonomics, making it more user-friendly for everyday driving and work tasks. Under the hood, the F1 offered a range of engine options, including a flathead V8 that provided ample power and torque for both work and leisure. The truck's robust drivetrain and sturdy suspension system ensured that it could tackle a variety of tasks with ease, from hauling heavy loads to navigating rough terrain. The combination of performance and durability made the F1 a popular choice among farmers, construction workers, and small business owners. The Ford F1's impact on the automotive industry cannot be overstated. It laid the foundation for the F-Series, which has evolved over the decades to become one of the most successful and enduring truck lines in history. The F1's blend of innovation, reliability, and practicality set new benchmarks for the industry and established Ford as a leader in the truck market. The idea of bringing back the Ford F1 as a special edition or limited run model is an exciting prospect for enthusiasts. A modern F1 revival would not only pay homage to the classic, but also appeal to the new generation of truck enthusiasts who appreciate the legacy of the F1. The Subaru Baja, produced from 2003 to 2006, is a unique vehicle that combines the handling of a car with the utility of a pickup truck. Despite its short production run, the Baja has maintained a loyal following and continues to hold its value remarkably well on the second-hand market. The Baja was built on a Subaru Outback platform, and it featured all-wheel drive, making it a versatile and dependable choice for various driving conditions. One of the standout features of the Subaru Baja was its innovative design. It had a four-door cabin with a small pickup bed at the back allowing for both passenger comfort and cargo utility. The Baja was equipped with Subaru's reliable boxer engine, available in both naturally aspirated and turbocharged versions, which provided a good balance of power and fuel efficiency. Its unibody construction borrowed heavily from existing Subaru models, contributing to its smooth ride and car-like handling. Despite its practical design and versatility, the Baja struggled with sales during its initial release. The vehicle was ahead of its time, and the market wasn't ready for a compact car-truck hybrid. Sales peaked in 2003, but Subaru decided to discontinue the model after 2006 
due to its overwhelming commercial performance. However, the Baja's unique combination of features has led to a resurgence in popularity among enthusiasts and collectors who appreciate its quirky design and functionality. There have been rumors that Subaru might bring the Baja back, which makes sense given its enduring popularity and the current market trends favoring versatile crossover style vehicles. A modern version of the Baja could capitalize on these trends, offering updated technology, improved performance, and enhanced safety features while retaining the distinctive design that made the original so memorable. The Jeep CJ8 Scrambler, introduced in 1981, is a standout in the lineup of Jeep's legendary off-road vehicles. Known for its extended wheelbase and versatility, the CJ8 Scrambler combined the ruggedness of the traditional CJ series with the practicality of a small pickup truck. This unique blend made it a popular choice among off-road enthusiasts and utility vehicle users. The CJ8 Scrambler was based on the CJ7 platform but featured a longer wheelbase, providing additional cargo space and improved stability. This design allowed it to carry more gear and tackle rough trains with greater ease. The vehicle came with various engine options, including a 2.5 liter inline four and a 4.2 liter inline six, both of which offered sufficient power for off-road adventures and daily driving tasks. Its robust construction and durable components ensured that it could handle the most challenging environments. One of the key features that set the CJ8 Scrambler apart was its versatility. The vehicle could be configured with a hard top, soft top, or no top at all, catering to different needs and preferences. Its open bed made it practical for carrying equipment, camping gear, or even a small trailer. The CJ8 Scrambler also offered a unique aesthetic appeal with its distinctive graphics and rugged design, which have made it a favorite among collectors and Jeep lovers. Despite its strengths, the CJ8 Scrambler had a relatively short production run, ending in 1986. However, its legacy has endured and it remains highly sought after by enthusiasts who appreciate its blend of utility and off-road capability. A modern version could incorporate contemporary technology and safety features while retaining the rugged charm and versatility that made the original so beloved. The Chevrolet 454 SS, introduced in 1990, is a high-performance pickup truck that left a lasting impression on the automotive world. Known for its powerful engine and sporty design, the 454 SS was a standout in Chevrolet's lineup, offering performance junkies a truck that could compete with muscle cars in terms of speed and power. At the heart of the 454S was a massive 7.4 liter V8 engine, capable of producing 230 horsepower and 385 foot-pounds of torque. This engine, combined with a three-speed automatic transmission and performance-tuned suspension, gave the 454SS impressive acceleration and handling for a pickup truck. It could go from zero to 60 miles per hour in under eight seconds a remarkable feat for a vehicle of its size and weight. The truck's rear-wheel drive layout and performance-oriented components made it a thrilling drive, especially for those who appreciated raw power and speed. The exterior design of the 454 SS was equally striking. It featured a monochromatic black paint scheme with bold red SS badges and distinctive 15-inch chrome wheels. The interior was equipped with sporty bucket seats, a center console, and a leather-wrapped steering wheel, providing a driver-focused experience that complemented its performance capabilities. The 454 SS also included performance-oriented features like a limited-slip differential and a heavy-duty cooling system, ensuring it could handle demanding driving conditions. Despite its impressive performance and striking design, the 454 SS had a relatively short production run, ending in 1993. However, its legacy has endured, and it remains a popular choice among collectors and performance truck enthusiasts. The idea of bringing back the Chevrolet 454S is an exciting one, especially in today's market, where performance trucks have gained significant popularity. By reviving the 454SS, Chevrolet could once again capture the hearts of performance enthusiasts and truck lovers. The Dodge D100 Club Cab, introduced in 1973, 
marked a significant milestone in the history of pickup trucks. As one of the pioneers of the extended cab design, the D100 Club Cab offered a blend of power, utility, and versatility that set it apart from its contemporaries. The vehicle featured a unique two-door cab with additional space behind the seats, providing more room for passengers or cargo without the bulk of a full crew cab. The primary focus of the Dodge D100 Club Cab was on its performance and durability. The truck was built to handle heavy-duty tasks, making it a favorite among those who needed a reliable workhorse. It was available with a range of powerful engine options, including the Chrysler Slant 6 and V8 engines, which provided ample power for towing and hauling. The 318 CID V8 and the 360 CID V8 were particularly popular choices, known for their robustness and reliability. While the D100 Club Cab wasn't designed with aesthetics as priority, its rugged appearance and practical design appealed to those who valued functionality over style. The truck's solid construction and dependable performance made it a staple in the commercial and agricultural sectors, where it was appreciated for its ability to withstand tough working conditions. The extended cab provided additional storage space and the option to carry extra passengers, enhancing its versatility. Despite its practical design, the Dodge D100 Club Cab left a lasting impact on the pickup truck market. It demonstrated the potential of extended cab configurations, paving the way for future developments in truck design. The D100 Club Cab was produced until the early 1980s, and its legacy continues to influence modern pickup trucks. The Chevrolet Light Utility Vehicle is a compact pickup truck that made its debut in 1972. Manufactured by Isuzu and marketed by Chevrolet, the Love was designed to cater to the growing demand for smaller, more fuel-efficient trucks in the United States. Despite facing criticism over the years, the Chevrolet Love remains an intriguing model that could potentially be revived with modern advancements. One of the key aspects of the Chevrolet Love was its compact size, which made it an attractive option for urban drivers and small business owners. The Love was powered by a 1.8 liter inline four engine, providing sufficient power for light duty tasks while maintaining good fuel economy. Its smaller size allowed for easier maneuverability and parking, making it ideal for city driving. The Love's design featured a simple yet functional exterior with a focus on practicality rather than luxury. The Love faced competition from other compact trucks of the era, including models from Toyota and Nissan. While it did not achieve the same level of popularity as some of its competitors, the Love developed a loyal following among those who appreciated its practicality and efficiency. Its utilitarian nature and affordability made it a popular choice for budget-conscious buyers who needed a reliable vehicle for everyday use. In today's market, where compact and mid-sized trucks are gaining popularity, reviving the Chevrolet Love could be a smart move for Chevrolet. The Nissan Hardbody 4x4, officially known as a Nissan D21, is a pickup truck that left a lasting impression on the market due to its rugged design, reliability, and off-road capabilities. Introduced in 1986 and produced until 1997, the hard body became synonymous with durability and toughness, making it a favorite among truck enthusiasts and off-road adventurers. One of the standout features of the Nissan hard body 4x4 was its robust construction. The truck was built with a full box ladder frame, which provided exceptional strength and rigidity. This sturdy foundation made the hard body ideal for on-road and off-road use, allowing it to tackle challenging terrains with ease. The truck was available with various engine options, including a 2.4 liter inline four and a 3.0 liter V6, both of which offered reliable performance and adequate power for a range of tasks. The hard body's design was functional and straightforward with a focus on practicality. Its angular lines and distinctive fender flares gave it a rugged appearance that appealed to those who needed a capable work truck. The interior was designed with durability in mind, featuring materials that could withstand heavy use and a layout that prioritized functionality over luxury. 
One of the key aspects that made the hard body 4x4 popular was its off-road capability. The truck's four-wheel drive system, combined with its robust construction and powerful engines, allowed it to excel in off-road environments. Whether navigating rocky trails, muddy paths, or sandy dunes, the hard body was a reliable companion for outdoor enthusiasts. The Nissan hard body 4x4's legacy continues to influence modern truck design. Its reputation for reliability and durability has made it a sought after vehicle in the used truck market. The idea of reviving the hard body is an exciting prospect, especially given the current demand for such rugged and capable trucks. The Suzuki Equator, introduced for the 2009 model year, was a mid-sized pickup truck that flew under the radar but garnered a dedicated following among those who owned or knew it. Based on the Nissan Frontier, the Equator offered the same reliable performance and rugged capability, but with Suzuki badging some unique features that set it apart. Despite its short production run, ending in 2012, the Equator remains a noteworthy vehicle for its combination of practicality and power. The truck was available in both extended cab and crew cab configurations, providing options for different needs and preferences. It came with a choice of engines, including a 2.5 liter inline four and a more powerful 4.0 liter V6. The V6 was particularly appreciated for its strong performance, delivering ample power for both on-road driving and off-road adventures. The Equator's towing and payload capacities were competitive for its class, making it a versatile vehicle for various tasks. The design of Suzuki Equator was straightforward but functional. It featured a rugged exterior with a no-nonsense aesthetic that emphasized its capability as a workhorse. Inside, the Equator offered a comfortable and practical cabin with enough space to accommodate passengers and cargo. The interior was equipped with essential features and user-friendly controls, ensuring a pleasant driving experience. Despite its merits, the Suzuki Equator struggled to gain significant traction in the highly competitive U.S. pickup truck market. The competition for more established brands and models overshadowed the Equator, leading to its eventual discontinuation. However, those who own the Equator praise its reliability, performance, and value, which have helped it maintain a good reputation in the used truck market. Given the current demand for versatile and efficient mid-sized pickups, the modern version of the Equator could potentially find a niche audience. The Chevrolet Apache is an iconic pickup truck that holds a significant place in the history of American automotive design. Introduced in the late 1950s, the Apache was part of Chevrolet's Task Force series and quickly became known for its innovative features, stylish design, and reliable performance. The Apache played a crucial role in establishing Chevrolet's reputation as a leading manufacturer of dependable and versatile trucks. One of the defining characteristics of the Chevrolet Apache was its sleek and modern design. The truck featured a distinctive front grille, wraparound windshield, and smooth lines, giving it a contemporary and attractive appearance. The Apache was available in various configurations, including different bed lengths and cab styles, allowing buyers to choose the best model. This flexibility made the Apache a popular choice. Under the hood, the Apache offered a range of powerful and efficient engines. Buyers could opt for an inline six or V8 engines, providing options for different performance and fuel economy requirements. The truck's sturdy chassis and suspension system enabled it to easily handle heavy loads and rough terrains, making it a reliable workhorse for demanding tasks. The Apache's durability and versatility contributed to its widespread popularity and long-lasting impact on the truck market. The interior of the Chevrolet Apache was designed with comfort and practicality in mind. It featured a spacious cab with well-designed controls and ample visibility, making it easy to drive and maneuver. The inclusion of advanced features for its time, such as power steering and upgraded upholstery options, added to the overall appeal of the Apache, making it a more comfortable and user-friendly vehicle. The legacy of the Chevrolet Apache continues to influence modern truck design, which is why bringing back the Apache is an exciting prospect. 
So what do you think about these classic pickups? Do you have a favorite you'd love to see make a comeback? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content of legendary vehicles and automotive history. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy driving.